Hey traders, uh, this is Jeff from zentrader.ca and tradewithzen.com. I want to talk a little bit about the market timing system and what it means for the general markets and how you should best position yourself and, or take advantage or not take advantage of the sell-off. Uh, my timing signal for the NASDAQ flipped all, all bearish as of yesterday's close. You can see here it's signified by this red dot. Uh, you can see how the RSI is really indicating an oversold position, but this is not, uh, I don't look at this as like this is getting ready to bounce. I look at this as this is getting ready to start, potentially start as something bearish, significantly bearish. And yes, we may bounce a little bit, but it doesn't look good now. Uh, now, obviously things can change and as bearish as things are right now between the debt ceiling, between the government shutdown, between earnings, which just started yesterday, it's it remains to be seen whether this is priced in, whether this is not priced in. Uh, earnings can change things and so it's important to be flexible. But what is happening right now is that the markets do look like they're going to be entering a pure sustained uh, period of correction and it's best to not be taking on too many new long positions and maybe for you it might not be good to take on any it depends on how quick you can get in and out of positions and how if you're in front of the computer all day uh, but timing signals bearish on the Nasdaq timing signal has been bearish on the Dow ever since August even after this huge rally I remember making videos and as it was going up here I kept in my mind thinking and I think I even mentioned it in some videos how I've never seen this kind of a rally that hadn't turned the timing signal bullish. It just seemed really weird and then and then we had this period where the Dow, the Dow timing signal was bearish and the other two, the NASDAQ and the TSX was bullish and it just, it was very strange. I don't think I've ever seen that. And You can see how this day looking back was really significant. I mean, this is like a last gasp. I see this time and time again where it just gets above resistance and then it just collapses. And, and this was just more or less a very controlled uh, period of you know nearly a thousand thousand points. This is this is a quiet thousand point move down. In case you hadn't been counting, and I didn't even realize it until right then. And you know, fifteen seven. All the way down to 14.7. I mean, and if you look at, at least for me and my trading, it's not really been that bad. It hasn't been representative of a thousand point trade uh, down. So, you know, you can look at that one of two ways is that this was a pretty easy pullback, or you could look at it like this is the start of something potentially even more ominous. I don't really know. I don't have an opinion on that right now. We, we are at a little bit of support, so it wouldn't be out of the question to see the markets rally a little bit. The RSI on, on this 60-minute chart is not that bad. So you've got the, the NASDAQ, which is playing a little bit of catch-up in recent days, whereas it's been really accelerating down and it's been showing us what, what is potentially in store for us, whereas the Dow seems to be trying to form some, some sort of a bottom here. Uh, running out of time, I'm really kind of rambling on here, but th this really shows it, the, the thousand point drop. And I don't have the TSX, but I did. I, did, I do want to talk about it. the TSX did go completely bearish uh, yesterday after the close as well. So the NASDAQ and the TSX moved at the same time. VIX is starting to pop up. It's really at uh, right around the highs, highish level, for, well, not counting this for 2013. This generally is the area where it seems to be finding resistance, so we'll have to wait and see if that, if if, uh, if this does prove to be a resistance level, or if we turn down. Uh, this is another chart. I don't uh, haven't actually used this one that long, but I discovered it, and I'm just kind of playing around with it. U.S. new highs and new lows, and you can see here we're we're just getting a little bit of a bearish downtick here, but we there's lots of room to really go so I'll to keep an eye on this to see if uh, what kind of an indicator this is like I said I'm just playing around with this this one's new and then I just want to touch upon the precious metals index uh, I, I did a video over the weekend and it's basically come down right into the support zone so if this falls watch out